New bridge, new name. You may have to get used to calling the Bonner Bridge something else. We want to know what you think. Should the new bridge over North Carolina's Oregon Inlet keep its name, or should it be renamed for former state Senator Mark Basnight? While you vote online, 13 News Now reporter Allie Weatherton is in North Carolina with what locals say about this debate. This is the new replacement bridge for the Bonner Bridge. NCDOT officials say it's supposed to open in the next couple of weeks, but so far it doesn't have an official name. There's a lot of people talking about it. Talking about what name makes the most sense. Some say keep it Bonner Bridge. Others want it named after Mark Bass Knight. Bass Knight grew up on the Outer Banks, served in the Senate, and still lives here today. I like Mark Bass Knight. I thought he's a great he's a great man. I mean, as far as this community goes. But Joseph Williams says that doesn't mean the bridge should be named after Bass Knight. I don't think it should be assigned to anybody's name. It should just be called Oregon Inlet Bridge. That way it keeps you know, all the politics out of it. Their county commissioners created an online forum before they passed a resolution to name the bridge in honor of Bass Knight. It was a 3-2 vote. That information was then sent forward to the state. Many people on Hatteras Island are against the name change. They've even started a Facebook page that has thousands of likes. The ultimate goal would be for the commissioners of their county and at this point the governor and the North Carolina Department of Transportation take notice of the local sentiment here on Hatteras Island that we don't want the name of the bridge changed and we most certainly don't want it changed to the name Mark Basnight. NCDOT officials will make the final decision in the coming weeks. I guess we're just going to wait and see. On the Outer Banks, Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now.